Astronomers from Université de Montréal have discovered an Earth-sized exoplanet likely covered in volcanoes that could potentially eventually support life. So joining us to talk about it is Bjorn Benneke. He led the team of researchers that made the discovery. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me on. So what led to this discovery? Did, did you or your team have a sense that, that this type of exoplanet could exist somewhere out there? Well, this is actually an interesting story. Um, as part of NASA's test mission, we had initially discovered uh, a much larger planet around that star. And this is actually a tiny star. It's a red dwarf star, which is not much bigger than Jupiter. So the star is not much bigger than the planet Jupiter in our solar system. And so we realized at that point that if there was other planets around the same system, they would be extremely good for characterization, to look for life, to look for the atmosphere of those planets. But we also realized here in Montreal that this test mission was actually not sensitive enough to find smaller planets, Earth-sized planets around that star. So what we then did is we contacted directly, directly the director of NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope in California, and we said, here we in Canada, we need uh, five days of this telescope. Uh, this is a much more powerful telescope that's in space. And they agreed with us. And so they took this telescope and pointed for 120, day, uh, for 120 hours, so five days, straight at the star and looked for smaller planets. And then we got really lucky. Um, we received the data. And my student and I were in my office. We, we dove through the data. We analyzed them. And indeed, we actually found a planet, um, an Earth-sized planet around the star. So it was for us a, a huge discovery. Um, but at the, at the beginning, we were quite concerned that maybe the planet is actually not real. Um, but then we did more and more confirmation. And in the end, we could verify that there is actually a planet uh, that is Earth-sized around that small star. And you said this is a, a very impressive discovery. Why is that? So this this is a, an Earth-sized planet that also has now um, an Earth mass. So we know that the density is actually consistent with that one of the Earth. Um, so that means that it's a, a, a rocky planet. Um, and it's a very special planet because it orbits around a very, very small star. So it's like the TRAPPIST-1 stars, uh, TRAPPIST-1 planets that were found in 2017, in that it's around this very small star, and that means that we can really in detail in the future with the James Webb Space Telescope characterize those planets, and we can understand what the atmosphere is, going, uh, what the atmosphere is like. Um, the other thing that makes it special is that, uh, quite unlike the Earth, this planet is tightly locked. That means that the same side of, this, of the planet always faces the star. So the planet has one really hot and dry day side, a permanent day side, and on the other side it has a permanent night side. Um, overall, the temperature is actually quite similar to the Earth, but the day side is very, very hot. The night side is very, very cold. We would even expect there to be an icy glacier on that side. But what is particularly interesting is that zone in between, between that day side and the night side, and that's what we call the terminator of the planet. And here we could imagine that there would be the ice melting, there could be liquid surface water. And at the same time, the entire planet is actually enshrouded with volcanoes. There's lots of volcanic activity on this planet. Interesting. And, and why is volcanic activity uh, specifically noteworthy? Well, it is actually, even on Earth, um, that we think that volcanic activity in the in the ocean surface has actually played a, a very important role in the in the formation of life on earth um, and so here with this planet it could be very similar especially in this region between the day and the, uh, the day and the night side the temperature could be right there could be water on the surface and we could have volcanoes underneath so i kind of made jokingly compared this this area to iceland um, where we have water and ice um, and volcanic activity which could be one of the key ingredients of this planet um, and what we what we know is that the activity on this planet, this, this volcanic activity, is actually much stronger than on than on the Earth. Um, this planet goes around its star, and it should be in a circular orbit around the star. But what actually happens is that this more this bigger planet that I had previously talked about is disturbing our planet, and it pushes us into an elliptical orbit. So the planet goes closer and further from the star, and that deforms through gravitational forces the interior of the planet and gets very, very warm in the inside. So it's a bit like when you take Play-Doh and you squeeze and squash it. Over time, it gets warm. That's the same with this planet. It gets very, very hot on the inside. That heat has to come to the surface, and planets do this via volcanic activity. So that's why we know that it's very uh, volcanically active. 
Very interesting. Bjorn Benneke is a professor at uh, UDM's Department of Physics, and he led the team that made this uh, very impressive discovery. Thank you so much. I imagine this won't be uh, the last time we'll be hearing about this. Thank you. Thank you.